Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of a flyback converter in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you'll get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. So this is a circuit diagram of a flyback converter. It is basically a DC to DC converter. One of the major differences with respect to a normal buck boost converter is that it provides electrical isolation. So uh, the entire operation and working of a flyback converter is explained in one of our previous videos. The link will be provided in the description and also it will be available in the end screen. In case you would like to see the working, you can refer to that. So over here, we'll only go in with the design procedure and the simulation of uh, a flyback converter in PSM. So this is how our design starts. So there are certain assumptions or certain requirements uh, based on that we will start our design. We are designing it for an output voltage of 5 volt and the supply voltage that we have considered is 24 volt. So the switching frequency that is chosen to be equal to 40 kilohertz um, and delta ILM that is basically uh, required uh, because only, only when we know the rating we will be able to determine the value of ILM over there. So we are choosing it to be equal to 460 milliampheres and N1 by N3, N2 that is basically the term ratio is 3 so it totally depends on your requirements so assumptions suitably should be made and calculation according to your assumption should be done all right let's uh, get into our first step that is to determine the duty ratio how do we find that that is n2 by n1 is equal to v out by vs into 1 minus d by d substituting and solving that is uh, assuming the turns ratio to be equal to 3 we will be getting the value of d to be equal to 0.385 so uh, once we find the value of uh, d our next step is to determine the capacitor value so how do we find that delta v out by v out is equal to d by rcf substituting uh, and assuming a ripple of 0.96 percent so amount of ripple that you want at the output based on that you have to de determine the value of capacitance value so i have chosen it to be equal to 0.96 percent substituting you will be getting 200 microfarad and once we find the value of c our next step is to determine the value of lm so where do we have lm in the circuit that is a big question isn't it lm is there internally within the transformer we'll be using a practical transformer in psim and there you will be ask it will be asking for a value called as lm so we need to find that as well according to the analysis with respect to a flyback converter lm is given by the formula delta lm is equal to vs into d by lm into f so solving for this equation you will be getting the value of lm that is where we want the value of delta lm which is over here as a result we will be using that and you will be getting lm to be equal to 500 micro entry and this plays a very important role in the simplification process like when we uh, design the circuit and if you don't use lm over here in the circuit you'll you'll not get the right output in psim so this is why it is very very important and once that is done our next step is to uh, analyze one important step so what is that so uh, in psim there is something called gating there is something called gating block that is used to trigger S1. So uh, what happens is that uh, we have to enter that in degrees. And here we have the value of D in duty ratio. How do we convert them into degrees? So it's very simple. 100% duty cycle corresponds to 360 degree. That is the maximum angle in, in which a circuit can operate, isn't it? So 38.5% duty cycle corresponds to how much degrees? It's very simple. 38.5 into 360 divided by 100, you will be getting 139 degrees. So this is how we will be deciding the uh, the degrees uh, in which we have to trigger the switch. So once this step and the entire design procedure is clear, we will get into PSIM and start off with our simulation. Alright, here we are in PSIM. So we will be dragging and dropping the components that we want according to our requirement. At the first place, we need a DC voltage source. Uh, and once that is done, we will be requiring a switch. I am using MOSFET and not a thyristor because we need an external commutation circuit in order to turn them off. And we need a transformer. Go to power transformer and go for a practical single phase transformer and it, it should be inverted. So uh, the polarity of the winding is what is very important in case of a flyback converter. And the purpose of it is already discussed in the working. So you can watch that video for that. So once that is done, uh, we'll be placing it according to our circuit diagram and and connect the remaining portions with respect to the primary part of the circuit connect this to the switch in this particular fashion so one of the most important steps is the mosfet should be connected in this particular direction if it is inverted then what happens uh, you will definitely go wrong with respect to the simulation process so be very careful while connecting the direction of the mosfet so once that is done we need a diode and uh, we also need a capacitor so rotate it using uh, right clicking on the mouse you will be getting uh, it to be rotated and once that is done we will be uh, connecting it to a resistive load that is used in our case and we'll be connecting the circuit according to the circuit diagram so 
once uh, the circuit uh, connections are done our next step is to uh, enter the values before that we want a gating block this is what uh, is one of the most important part we can also refer to this as the heart of our circuit so without this you will never get the desired output so the supply voltage that we have chosen is 24 volt so let's enter that and uh, the gating block we are designing it for 40 kilohertz so enter 40k and uh, the switching points as i told you will be entering 139 we cannot enter decimal values here it will throw you an error if in case you enter decimal value so we'll be rounding it off to the closest value and once that is done now we'll be entering the transformer parameters here there are a lot of things uh, to enter so we'll be assuming suitable values here 0.1 milli so uh, according to our circuit requirements we'll be doing that so however uh, primary leakage inductance uh, and secondary leakage inductance will be assumed to be same and it's uh, of 10 micro so one of the most important aspects of our design is lm that magnetizing inductance that we have already found out and it is 500 micro so this is where it is very important these values can be suitably assumed according to your requirement so once this is done the primary number of turns is three and secondary is one and uh, click on the close pin it will automatically take the values that we have entered the capacitance that we have chosen is 200 micro so enter 200 u and once that is done close it so we are using a resistance of 5 ohm so enter that as well now we have to see the input voltage and the output voltage in case you want to see the currents you can use a current probe over here um, that is here and you can connect it in series with the circuit based on the currents that you want to see at the output waveform so similarly uh, we'll be having uh, an output voltage probe in order to measure the output voltage so we'll be connecting it at uh, this point and with respect to this point so once this is done uh, we have connected the circuit according to the circuit diagram now we will uh, use simulation control which is basically one of the most important blocks that decides the runtime of a circuit and the time step let us keep it in this particular fashion itself uh, the time step will be automatically adjusted according to adjusted according to a circuit so let's run the simulation now if you see the time step has changed according to our circuit so click on ok we want to measure v1 and v2 that is basically the supply and the load voltage so connect it in this particular fashion now we will be able to zoom it by zooming it by using this particular functionality and uh, you see this is the supply voltage 24 volt and this is the output voltage which is quite approximately equal to 5 volt the reason why we are not getting exactly 5 volt is because this is a practical single phase transformer all the components that are usually there in case of psim are ideal but we are choosing a practical transformer and there will be drop across primary induct uh, primary resistance secondary resistance and uh, as a result you will not be getting the exact value however closer value of it is obtained in this case i hope the simulation of flyback converter is understood and you will be able to do it on your own in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below you can also reach out to me at electronicsmaddy at gmail.com if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you